Uh, oh, hi there, kiddo. It's me, Cosmo. I got great news for you. I'm your new Fairly Odd Parent. Are you looking forward to a life of wishes? Oh gosh, it looks like you've kind of had a hard life so far, but I'm going to take care of it. You know, usually I work with my wife, Wanda, but she's a little busy right now, so I'm going to get started. You are about to have an amazing adventure. Isn't that wonderful? Well, it's pretty simple, sport. I'm... An odd parent, and all you have to do is make a wish, and I'll bring it true. Well, it is true, there are a few rules, just like in that movie with the one genie who sounded a lot like that one guy who was a bad in Fern Gully. Yeah, kind of like that, but except for a few minor rules, you can have whatever you want. So, Let's get started. What would you like to wish for? Would you like millions of dollars? Would you like superpowers? What would you like? <clears throat> I'm really glad you didn't put that in a wish. Let's just work this out for a second. You want to kill half of all people. No, you want to kill half of all living things with a snap of your fingers. It's kind of messed up. Okay, okay, yeah, resources are... Super important, I think, but um, let's think this through. You got yourself access to wishes. Why don't you wish for twice as many resources? Then people will just use it and grow more and you'll need more wishes. Okay, but don't you think they'll do that if you reduce them to half as well? then there'll be more resources, so it's kind of the same. It's just less murdery. Huh. Okay, before you put it in a wish, couple of things. I'm actually not allowed to murder people. Thank God. Yeah, there's a whole thing about it. So I can't grant you any wishes that cause people to be sort of on the unalive spectrum. Oh, you are wanting to court death. That's kind of creepy. So, mm, yeah, I've met death a few times. She comes to some of our fairy conventions. Yeah, it seems that a lot of our wishes end up sending people to her because things go horribly wrong. I guess I shouldn't have told you that. Yeah, it is true that while I can't, you know, bonk, you know, put someone down, is there are a lot of wishes that kind of end up having the same thing. You know, if you wish for, like, say, a... Uh, volcano to erupt in a city, you see where I'm going with it. Yeah. But maybe don't do that. Maybe just, are you sure you don't like the whole double, double in the resources? Because I'm good at making fried eggs. Just give me a fried egg wish. I'll get right to it. No, you're still pretty much on the whole half of all living things. <clears throat> Have you considered that 
maybe there's some other options. Well, yeah, so uh, since I can't do it myself, maybe we could get you something that could. Have you heard about these Infinity Stones? They're a lot of fun. You touch one and you sort of explode. Unless you're super tough, like me, I'm of course very, very tough. And then if you have more, you have more power up to the point where you can just sort of make things happen. I mean, it's pretty pathetic that you mortals have to go through all that to get the power that I have with my wand. No, you can't have my wand. That's part of the rules. Only fairies can have wands. But yes, I can wish that you really shouldn't have said that, should I? Okay. Your first wish, you wish you had an infinity stone. Poof! There you go. That's the reality stone. It makes things reality. It's good with illusions and changing perceptions and all kinds of things. Yeah, it's got a bit of a jolt to it, so you might want to find a way to hold that better. You know what I usually do is like if I'm getting something out of the oven, like a nice creme brulee that I've had heating up. I don't even remember if you're supposed to heat those. I just use magic. But I use the oven mitts. Maybe you could have an oven mitt of power. You want me to wish one of those for you? More of a, more of a gauntlet. Yeah, I can tell you played some D&D, &D, huh? Yeah, you really needed more friends, didn't you? Okay, a gauntlet it is, coming right up. Poof! Now you've got your gauntlet, you can stick your reality stone in there, and now see how powerful you are. You can pretty much just relax. There's no... You want some more stones, huh? Well... I can't actually wish you the other stones because they are protected by magic. But I can take you to the places where they are and kind of help you out a little bit. Do you want to do that sport? Hey, are you sure you wouldn't just like me to wish you up a chocolate sundae? Uh, maybe to see what it's be like to be a girl. That's what the last kid did. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, I have to tell you, I don't think this is going to work out too well for you. Yeah, it, just take it from somebody who has lots of experience granting wishes, because that's what you're talking about. Once you get this gauntlet of yours all up and running, it's going to let you grant wishes. And I've watched that happen again and again and again and again. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't really go great for the people that get the wishes. You're gonna end up turning into ash or something crazy like that. Why don't you just maybe spend some more time with your daughters, maybe go on a vacation, you know, explore the universe, do some good, maybe, Choose a different name that doesn't have the word death in it. All right. If that's what you want. <sighs> Do you have something you really love? Because we need to go get the soul stone first. Because that's how these things work. So uh, I can wish you up something that you really love and have it here with you but I don't think you're gonna like what you need to do. All right. Um, well, my advice? My advice would be not to do this, to turn your infinity gauntlet into an oven mitt and cook yourself up some creme brulee which I still don't remember whether or not you cook or if it's cold or what, but you can still have a great oven mitt. No, 
No, you still want to wipe out half the universe. This is what happens when I go on assignment without Wanda and I have to do the thinking for myself. All right, bringing up Gamora now. Let's go get your soul stone. Play Riot, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber, just like the wonderful hound who sent me this backdrop. Isn't it neat? You can become a Patreon subscriber by going to the link below and time to grant your wish.